Crikey, missile. Flare, 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 flare. Roll, roll, try and get out of these guns. Oh, hello, Gopnik Zars, if you haven't appeared in some of my recent videos as background footage. All right, mate, you know better than Bert me, mate. Here, eat some of this. <laughs> oh, oh, my bloody teammate, you pillock. G'day, I'm Ash. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. Today's video is going to be a little nonsensical. It's just going to be a talking heads video. I, I do produce content, and I produce a lot of it. And this year already hasn't gone off to a good start already. I said to myself, and I set myself a New Year's goal, that I wouldn't necessarily burn myself out on playing a game that I somewhat despise, but I play out of sheer desperation because, again, I've got a goal in mind and I want to unlock all the aircraft. I'm down to 14 aircraft now, and that is a pain in the utter rear, I must tell you. I've got five for China, I've got three for Germany, got six for USA. That's it. They're all rank six. Everything is going to plan. But before we get into any of that, I have a bit of an announcement to tell you. Well, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll have already seen that I retweeted this. Anyway. Hawkins Control, Scramble Rabbit Section. Okay, engines on. Find the Jäger. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Da drüben. Turn to port and steer two, three, zero. Well, the essential arithmetic is that our young men will have to shoot down their young men at the rate of four to one. And that is what you've got to look forward to when you see yours truly flying around uh, commanding a squad. So, I highly recommend that you go and check this out. I'll give you the details here in a second. Actually, what are they? Live premiere details. Where? Fly a daily YouTube channel on Saturday the 9th of January. At what time? 12.45 Eastern Standard Time or 17.45 GMT. Now, the video runtime is 50 minutes and 30 seconds. Quite a long time, I must say. But seen the trailer and you've definitely seen the video that i produced about three and a half months ago you know this is going to be an epic war thunder movie and uh, it's been a privilege to utterly take part in that anyway let's go back to the numbers obviously the title of this video is going to be subject to whatever the discussion is today and i think it's going to be how much time have you invested in war thunder whether that be money whether that be resources i've been playing war thunder for eight years and i think i've finally lost it i think i've finally gone mad a case in point with my recent tb3 video where i'm sitting there laughing at update hot trash with the tb3 pointed over in the snow in the in the christmas hangar how much more ridiculous can you get? I think I've lost all mental sanity. And that was basically a different subject. But right now, because even though lockdown in Australia has sort of eased just a little bit, I find myself more and more not wanting to go out, not wanting to interact with any of the people I used to know, and just generally spending more time on my own. It is, it's not a win-win situation. And so what do you do? Well, you've watched all the catalogue of Netflix, you've watched all your YouTube videos, you start playing video games. And sure, I could be spending my time a bit better, like playing guitar or learning to read a new language or doing something more productive, but it is what it is. In between looking for work and looking at university courses, I feel no real reason to sort of worry at this stage. My main goal was to unlock all the aircraft before my 21 days of premium run out, and at current time I'm unlocking about 150,000 research points a day. Mind you, top tier gameplay is pretty monotonous, it is pretty repetitive. In fact, I've even had multiple enemy squadrons just chase me off the edge of the map just because, you know, hey, it, look, it's Ash. But most of you seem to be pretty alright and pretty, pretty decent people, so... It's just the occasional ones that annoy the living daylights out of me. That's just the problem with being a internet celebrity, so to speak. I don't even consider myself particularly well known. I say that with 30,000 subscribers. And I think of myself in a lesser regard than what people probably, you know, expect of me. And I think that just brings the expectations down for the content. I'm just going to say that right now. It's not that the channel content is bad per se more that it's a reflection of my personality and I tend to be a pretty laid-back individual unless you irritate me in which case I turn into the Hulk there there have been a few instances where people have pissed me off to the right extent and I've made plenty of enemies regardless we all have those people that don't like us and I know plenty of them who would probably agree with me on that particular subject I don't necessarily care guys 
Hindsight is, I'm doing well here, uh, and I use this channel just to keep my ego in check and make sure that I don't necessarily go insane, especially when there is a lack of activities to do or a lack of things to, uh, I, I guess, really expand upon, which is why I've been playing a hell of a lot of War Thunder. Now, the unlockable entry aircraft is a goal of mine that I've been trying to unlock for a while. And the 641 aircraft as of 1.99. So that doesn't include any of the new stuff that was added recently. That's not any of the VTOL jets. That's not any of the F-84s. That's not anything, really. So I'd say there's about 670 aircraft, give or take. Maybe, maybe less, maybe more. I'm not entirely sure. And it's really, really bloody interesting. Because it is so incredibly hard to grind these nations out. I don't think people really understand this. The amount of time I've invested over the last four weeks has been immense. Ever since before Christmas, then during that inter-year, New Year period, and now as of the 8th of 2021. Crazy, man. Crazy. And I won't lie, I've done videos based on content that is rather negative in its focus. Majority of my better War Thunder videos, at least performing, have a negative connotation in the title, or I try not to have a negative connotation or implication there, but I would rather, I guess, get people viewing the content and then have an in-depth discussion about the issues at hand, rather than, you know, send you off on a go-happy content spree, because honestly, after playing eight years of War Thunder, I'm about as tired as a mule who's been working 60 hours a week, right? The main point of this, War Thunder is becoming a job, right? It should not become your job. If War Thunder is now becoming your job, taking over your life, which I guess it has taken over mine to a degree, I'm, I've talked about this in length prior to, uh, I guess, how I got into War Thunder, or why we keep playing War Thunder, etc. I did some of the video essay styled kind of content I'll link to that in the in the description. If it's really a matter of worth, why am I bothering to unlock all the aircraft? Good question. I have an immense passion for aviation in general, and while I'm getting into DCS a bit more and more as, as things go on, I find it particularly interesting that War Thunder caters to that Simcade uh, market. is really the, one of the only games out there that is really who could classify as something that is really potent towards having a casual time versus a full-on fledged simulation you could go the opposite extreme and go full-on arcade i mean top tier is a bit like that at the moment with the missiles but <laughs> you know what i'm talking about right war thunder is a fantastic platform and i think the reason why we all keep coming back is primarily because there is no other game like it and you can make that argument for any type of game but that's the reason why so many of us some of the, so many of the older players occasionally reach out to me and say, Hey, Ash, you know, I remember when you and I played this and this and this happened. And it was like, whoa, I've forgotten you existed, mate. How are you, do how are you going, you know? All that kind of stuff. You know, it brings back memories about playing the game a long time ago. You know, playing <laughs> War Thunder is, is, is subject to a lot of negativity. And I think that the primary focus of those types of videos is really to drive that particular channel or whatever it is and to, to increase viewership to that channel and that's fantastic there are a heap of issues with war thunder but when i think back to it when i really look back into the past the best moments are those that are captured through i guess roast into glasses what i do to be a new player right now brand new player playing war thunder for the first time in 2021 That'd be something that I'd like to experience. Obviously, I have an alternate account, but I've had I've had the experience playing the game. You can't necessarily undo that, because a fresh set of eyes on the game would be a perfect opportunity for something that, I guess, showcases what the real issues are, rather than us veterans who have played the game for nearly eight years and have got most of everything and have experienced everything that there is to offer within the War Thunder realm. Now, I hope I'm not rambling too much. I hope that my sentences are coherent and at least understandable. The point what I'm making here is, is War Thunder really what you want it to be? Are you getting your War Thunder's worth out of something? After all, War Thunder is a War Thunder problem. And insert War Thunder, it's almost fun. Insert all those catchy taglines and War Thunder is a problem and etc, etc. Or War Thunder in a nutshell, or this game in a nutshell. And I really think that what I'm trying to say is my boiling point again. Now, in 2018, I made a video saying I'm done. 
I'm, I'm never going to say I'm done with War Thunder again, but I'm more, I guess, it's due for another couple of months break. And I reckon that once this event ends, and I mean, the Operation Winter is basically over already, but there's going to be more content. Early in the year, content time tends to slow down before the major March patch that we get early in the year. I think now is a better time than never to actually take a little bit of a break and... I guess get some use out of some well-earned rest and focus on some other projects that need to be done you know as i'm getting older time flies even quicker uh, and time is not necessarily infinite you can spend ten thousand hours doing a video game like for example the orange doom or you can spend your you know the time making history videos like the scottish koala or doing gameplay videos like spitfly you could do funny moments like Benny or you could do you know fun moments with Fly or you know Odd for example maybe you have been hired by Garjan like Mike Goes Boom and Oxygen Thief maybe you do funny War Thunder skits and now have progressed to live action like Squire or whether you knew an upcoming uh, content creator and, and, and doing all sorts of things or whether you've just stopped right I guess there's a story in this game. We all came from a certain point of view, and I think it's important to remember that, yeah, despite War Thunder's issues, you know, we're still here. Some of us are still here. Yeah, it's a crap game, but there are more things to life than complaining about a crap game, right? I'm seeing so many fantastic content creators that have come up out of the ranks and are showing us how to make content and showing us old folks who are really negative about War Thunder's experience how to really be positive about the game and how to have fun again i think that's really important that the community sort of fosters that and and remembers that because negativity isn't really the end of end of any discussion per se it's more it's more just oh this game's trash you know without really discussing the reasons for why it is and why we think that in the first place if that chick i met in 2014 while studying aviation uh, didn't introduce me to war thunder i don't know what i'd be doing currently I think that I want to spend the rest of 2021 doing something different, and and I've said this in the past, but War Thunder can't be the only game you're known for. Putting all your eggs in one basket is doomed to fail. If this game goes under in the next three or four years, or they stop development for it in the next, say, six years, what is going to happen? What happens if War Thunder gets to its 10 year anniversary and then the server shut down permanently because there's been so many server issues recently? What happens to all those people's money, that time, that investment that put in? It, it's all for nothing, isn't it? Nothing is forever. And I, and I guess it's really the memories you make along the way, isn't it? As the meme would suggest, right? And I'm not going to lie to you all. I'm going to be bluntly honest here. I thought about deleting all of my social media in its entirety. The YouTube channel, the Discord server, the, the Twitch, the Twitter. Everything that is related to the Ash 007. And I had to really sort of set myself back and think, hang on. I need to sort of approach this from another point of view. Yeah, I'm struggling. We all struggle. We're all human. War Thunder is just something we do to pass the time. Sometimes it's a game we just use or play out of frustration for, for unknown reasons. But I think you really need to ask yourself, what is War Thunder worth? Why do we play War Thunder? And then we'll get, you, you'll find your answer. Are you playing with friends? Are you playing with a group of people? Are you playing it specifically to unlock one vehicle and then never to touch the game again? These are really important questions. <laughs> I didn't mean to get so deep in today's video, but there you are. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I hope that you take it to heart at least a little bit. If not, you can tell me I'm a massive idiot and stop talking, but uh, I'll catch you in the next video soon, hey? Cheerio.